Okay, hello, this is Mike again. Um, I'm um, actually up to, I'm, I'm on the very last piston, so I'm gonna go through with that uh, on, on tape, on video here, the very last one, and try to get closed up and show you how I use everything. It, a lot more comfortable now with, uh, I was kind of, last time I was worried about where the bottom dead center is, but I got that licked. I, I looked up online and was able to find some uh, more information on it, but uh, it's been going pretty good. I've got one more piston to do and I just I'll get you involved in the last piston so. Things I uh, Just where the where the oil where the where the main oil ring uh, The middle one there that's all curlied that's all curled. I put that I just I match that up to the I find out where that ends as soon as I find it. This that was actually closer than I thought. Okay, so I put that, I center that up with here, the where the uh, where the ends meet. Then I take my then I take the oil rings and make sure that on the oil ring gaps are on either side of this center mark. So I got one over here. Excuse me. I got one over here, and I got an oil. I got a gap over here, so just making sure those are. Okay, got a gap on either side. Okay, now I take I take the uh, compression rings, and I just I do them 90 degrees. I'm doing them 90 degrees. Uh, of this, so I got a gap right here. I got a gap right, right here, and then I then I then I do 180 of that. So, so I take that second ring at the bottom and do 180. So they're 180. The gap rings, the compression rings are 180 of each other, and 90 off the uh, 90. Uh, off the the center pit, the center mark here. Okay. Clean the uh, the inside of this so I don't get any oil anywhere. I mean, if I so I don't get any cleaner anywhere else. Stick that in there, and then just come on and clean this. Okay. Okay. Let that dry. Okay. So that's done now. Now I'm gonna oil, oil this up. And after this is done, I'm gonna have to go through each of these and uh, and clean the uh, caps off because they do have a lot of gunk on them. Okay, so we're just going to oil this up, and you don't need a lot because you're going to oil the uh, going to oil the rest too. You don't need a lot on here. You just need enough to. Okay, so that's good. Now. Again, check your, make sure everything's good. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of the. You can put, you're going to get this. Going to put the uh, assembly lube on this. And you know what? I found that this stuff, this stuff is your insurance. So you know, I would just buy the buy the good stuff, and uh, and 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 be liberal with it. You know, I mean. You're going through all this work, and you don't want to have to. You spun a bearing or something. Just put it on there. Even put a little bit extra, just to just to make sure it's good. Okay. So we got that. Got to put a little bit of oil on the inside of the wall here. And then you just take your. Just you don't have to 
just kind of okay okay Okay, and here's the fun part. My favorite tool so far in this build is this my compression ring, ring compressor. Um, I got this from Summit. This is just a standard four inch. It's a metal. It's a metal one. It actually has a taper, so it's thinner on one side and thicker. Let's see if I can help you get you there. So you can see how thick that is. See that? Can you see that? Thinner, right? Yeah. So. So you, you have the thicker side, you have the thinner side, I'm sorry, you have the thinner side sticking up. And when you put your compression, so we gotta make sure we're remember that part's gotta be in the front, facing the facing the timing chain. So we stick this up here. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Our caps. Never forget your caps. I'm just using some uh, uh, indelible marker pins, sharpie tops, they seem to work. But just anything that will protect it. So, okay, come around, just kind of guide it a little bit. Should pop in. Okay, it'll. Oh. Careful, these gloves don't get them caught. You don't want all that crap in there either. So, kind of squeeze the. Okay, that's in. Squeeze the ring a little bit. Okay, takes a little bit, but as soon as you get the rings compressed, they will go in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we got that in. Just got to make sure the rings don't move around when you're doing this. So, take our uh, wood handle at this point, just kind of, you know, hit it. And you don't want to don't want to shove it just take your time and what this is doing is basically compressing the rings more and more as I shove it down there's there's some resistance there okay so don't be surprised there is some resistance there and the and it will get harder to push but it won't stop so and finally it uh, compresses the rings enough to get inside the hole and oh, one more hit and then there you go. See that? And it just slides right off. And our now it's inside. Now, now we have to do some minor adjustments because uh, the arrow is a little off. So I'm going to just turn this a little bit. There we go. Now, okay. Oh, now next step. Now is we got to keep hitting it in, but we got to guide it onto the. The thing. Oh. Okay. So, so keep hitting it. And then 
that's it. And that's it. We hit. Looks like we hit top dead, bottom dead center. I'm getting. It's so it's so humid out right now that I'm just. God, I'm just I'm just dripping sweat right now. <laughs> that's so gross. I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my engine from becoming a rust bucket here from all the sweat landing on it. Okay, I'll have to clean this up. Okay, so that's the last piston. Now we just gotta turn flip it over. Okay, so now, okay, so we're here. Okay. And with the Ford, um, the the numbers should be going out towards on the outside. You should be facing the numbers on the on the uh, the size of the connecting rod and the cap should meet up and also should be pointing out in this direction. Um, so that's how you know you're doing it right, and that's how you know. Uh, and and, it, and when you got the arrows pointing the right direction. You'll always have this. So, okay. So let's uh, let's continue on here. Got a few more steps here, and we're done. So let's get a few more taps. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna put more some assembly lube on the bearing itself. Okay. Um, now we're gonna get the. Okay. There's a, like I said before, there's a, there's a number. This one says eight. See that? Yeah, there you go. See that right there? Eight. Okay. That matches up to the eight that's on the side here, facing, facing this direction, right here. This is the back of the engine. I mean, this is the front. So we're gonna match up. Oh, forgot one thing. Some assembly lube on this. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, again, be liberal. Not worth a spun barrel. Bent bearing. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on. Okay, that's on. I'm gonna take my rubber hammer, hammer, just a very light, just to get it seated. Now, wipe off all this excess here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of my um, my ARP fastener assembly lubricant, and I don't need much. I just want a little bit on the thread, so just on the tip here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna work that in. Okay, I gotta work fast here. I don't have much time. Anyway, so I've got these torqued down. My last one is uh, 20. Okay. And my last one is 24 pounds. Okay, so we got 24 pounds. One. Two. Check again one more time just in case. One, two, and that's it. Okay, guys, that's it. Oh, I gotta be quick here. Thank you uh, for watching, and that was it. Okay, thank you. Have a good night.